So, how are you doing in this fine and lovely day, Brooks? I'm doing fine. Yeah, that's good to hear. Uh, for those of you watching this who might not be aware of exactly why I've decided to call Brooks right now, if you've only if you only joined the channel recently or you've only watched my main stuff, you may not be aware of this, so I'll give you a brief little recap. A little over a year ago, on the day that Halo Infinite first came out, I did a live stream where I played the multiplayer. I brought on some friends to join me. I brought on Neil, Joe, and, of course, I brought on Brooks. And for the first, like, four hours or so, it was... Fun? Are you really playing for four hours? Th that stream is like seven hours long in total. I don't think you were there for four hours because you were. You, you, yeah, because no, I definitely joined a little late. You showed up to talk for a bit, and then you dipped out to go do something else, and then you joined to play us, pl play, play with us for the last couple of games. Yeah, because I, did, I didn't stop. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, because it, it was it was a surprise reveal <laughs> for everyone. Also, I don't think you were back in your dorm yet, so. I, think... I was in my dorm during that actually. Ah. <laughs> uh. My poor roommate. Yeah, it was very laid back and chill, and it was just great to finally play a new Halo game. And then Joe brought up the Lightyear trailer, which led to us talking about Toy Story 4, which led to you mentioning that you thought the ending of Toy Story 4 was good. And then for the for the next, like, hour and a half or so, we just kind of went back and forth talking about the movie as a whole. Although most most of our conversation was more so just focused on the ending itself, since that's the biggest point of contention with, with, with uh, Toy Story 4. And yeah, yeah, yeah. it got very very heated especially at the end I, most of the conversation was relatively level-headed it's just as things went along they got progressively more aggressive and the final few minutes my patience just evaporated entirely and i lost any desire to filter myself to even the slightest degree so things became much more hostile than i would have liked them to be and the reason why we're here now is because some clips from that stream have been circulating around twitter and i've gotten a couple comments not many surprisingly enough pretty much exclusively on the april fool's video is when these comments show up but some comments and people saying things like you need therapy and you should quit content creation altogether Interesting. My original plan was just to kind of ignore it, let it roll off me, because it's not the first time I've mentioned on Twitter. Pretty much every time I release a, a super long video, someone will inevitably screenshot it saying, Bruh, this dude talked about a kid's movie for like six hours, lol. Which kind of rattled me at first, seeing people just screenshot it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, Sorry, good but at a certain point, uh, at a certain point, I realized that some people are always going to hate you no matter what you do. So I just kind of learned to ignore whenever those things popped up. And that was my game plan here. But then you, Brooks, you reached out to me and offered to jump into a call with me to kind of clear the air about the whole situation, right? That was what your intent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I pondered it for a bit. I didn't want to at first because I just didn't think it would accomplish much. But I, I decided, well, I guess it couldn't hurt. So I'll just ask you up front, what are, what are your feelings? about the whole situation the, the event that kickstarted it and how things i have... literally did not care maybe 10 minutes after it happened it is i don't see how it's such a big deal to be honest it's just two dudes talking about toy story in a heated way and yeah it seemed a little hostile like it, i was a little miffed i'm gonna be honest but it wasn't anything more than, okay, man. Like, it wasn't like, Jesus, dude. Like, how could you say that to me? How could you be such an awful human? I don't know. I feel like people just don't understand anything for, like, when they see two people arguing, they don't understand that they can still be friends past that argument. Or, like, maybe they can just look past an argument, even if it is hostile. Like, dude, I've had worse arguments with my parents, dude. I've had worse arguments with my girlfriend, man. Like, I just, I don't see... I was really that bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw people straight up saying that, claiming that I, I ended our friendship over that. Or oh, no, I saw those, I saw those ones too. But, uh, yeah, no. I mean, that's, that's obviously not true. But, so I wouldn't still be hanging with you. Yeah. It was that bad. I, I've, I've never ended a friendship with anybody over a movie or a game or anything like that. Also, I, I've seen some comments and people saying, were you, were you actually, if you if you feel comfortable saying it, were you actually high for that stream? Because I've seen a lot of people saying, like, the dude argue with someone who was high off his ass the whole time. Uh, you could kind of say that. Not high, bro. I was very sleep deprived. I had not slept in, I believe, 30 hours. Dude, Jesus. That, that. that I did not know. Yeah, cause, because, uh, is, I was actually going to go to bed. And then you guys had invited me to play because just after a class, I had pulled an all-nighter to finish some sort of project that I had to do for this stats class I had. And you guys had invited me to play. And I'm like, suddenly I just didn't really feel very tired. And I was like, oh, you know what? Fine, I will actually go play with them. <laughs> and then it was, it was fun. And then, like, I, I saw the video again 
of when I was talking. It's I'm not gonna say I was slurring my words, but I was talking very slowly. And I do that a lot sometimes. I'm very prone to doing that anyway. I don't know why, but I haven't talked very slow sometimes, but that time especially was kind of bad. I can see how someone would think you sound high if they don't know no, you. No, yeah, no, I don't, I don't blame them. But I've known you for six years, so I know that just, that's just how you sound when you talk a lot of the time. Yeah. I, I just thought, I thought it was a funny thing to bring very, up. Very, very slow talker compared to you who talks insanely fast. Very it, fast. It sounds like someone is slamming their keyboard and like each key they click is a word. <laughs> That's one thing I've had to work on is articulating myself better in videos. Because I, my, my Toy Story 4 series, I am talking at the speed of sound. You can barely even hear what I'm, you can barely make out the words I'm saying. So I've really had to try to enunciate myself a lot better in my more recent stuff. Which has led to I mean, longer. It's not, it's not the mo it's not the worst thing. At least I can still understand you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even, even when I was in middle school and I did PowerPoint presentations, I would get kids saying like, dude, whoa, whoa, slow, slow down. I can't, I can't, I cannot keep up. Please stop, stop, talk slower, my dude, my dude. I, I know, to more back on track. People seem to think the whole thing happened just because you said you liked Toy Story 4, but that wasn't the case. It, I, if, if that was all you said, I literally would not have cared. In fact, if you, in the Toy Story 4 comment, did you watch the Toy Story 4 commentary that uh, FG and I did? Was, you were watching the movie the whole time, and then it's... Yeah, it's like, the what, fourth one. It's like what we did with Aladdin and Ralph Rex the Internet, but just... Uh, it was just you and her? Just yeah, us. yeah, I think yeah. I, I watched part of it. I remember watching... I, I mean, I have not watched the whole one, just because I do not have the time to do that sometimes, but um, I was watching, <laughs> I remember watching the one, and you guys are making fun of me. <laughs> oh, right, so it, was the, it was the first uh, one, the, the first Toy Story commentary. Yeah, 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 you're like... For, for those who don't... For those, <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> for, the, for, the, for those who don't know, when Buzz says, you are a sad, strange little man, and you have my pity. FG said, I feel like I've heard you say that in high school before, and I said... You're right, I probably did say that. I, I, I incorporated the, the quotes from the Toy Story trilogy into my daily lexicon quite a bit, so I probably did say it to someone, and it was probably Brooks. Sorry, Brooks, that's a quote from the commentary. Uh, this is but, hard feelings, man. Uh, I'll cry when uh, no one can see it, you know. The, re the reason why I bring it up is because the first thing she said after the Toy Story 4 was over in that video was, I liked it, and my reaction was, cool, glad you enjoyed it. Film still sucks, though. I've always said you're allowed to like any movie you want for any reason. I might be baffled by what led you to enjoy something, but personal enjoyment of a movie or game or anything is just down to everybody individually, and I don't I don't have an issue with that. I mean, I love plenty of things that I also consider to be terrible. For uh, Cars 2 springs to mind in that department. The thing that, that prompted the whole conversation was you saying that the ending was actually good, and I the way I see it is that when you make a statement of quality about something, then you're also open to having that position being challenged. But by that same token, would you say that you actually actually wanted to talk about Toy Story right then and there, or would you just rather have played the game and not brought this up at all? Could have gone either way, to be honest. It, it didn't, it, I wasn't, like, so passionate to talk about it, but, I mean, the fact that I was even talking about it at all, I mean, I guess, can lead you to think that, uh, yeah, I did want to talk about it. What, what it felt like to me was that, initially, you would have rather just played the game and we could have not discussed it and it would have been fine. But once I asked for specifics for why you thought the ending was good, you you seemed almost happy to just immediately jump right into it. I wouldn't say jump right into it, but I was happy to talk about it. However, what I will say is that the further the chat went on for, the more withered you became and the more you... You even explicitly said at one point, I'm tired, I just want to stop talking about this. I don't remember that, but... I, again, that's how tired I was, I guess. The thing I want to highlight there is that I, I, even as you were telling me, I, I, don't, I want to stop, I don't want to continue this anymore, I kept pushing. That, I wish I didn't do. I wish I had actually, when you told me I want to stop, I said, we, we can stop now. I wish we had called things off before they reached the boiling point that they did. Because on, honestly, had the conversation just been private, but offline between you and me, I probably would have been content to just let it go and get back to playing the game. But part of the reason why I, I wanted to keep the conversation going for as long as I did is because I, I was live and I knew that there were people, I, I saw people in the chat saying like, please, I want to see this this debate, so I almost felt an obligation to try to keep it going as long as possible. That's cool. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't really care, honestly, like, it's not so much as like, oh no, I look like an idiot in front of all these people live. I couldn't care. I don't know them. Like, I'm fine. I, I don't know about you, but I, I felt, it felt to me at least like, 
the conversation was a gradual escalation of aggression and that things started out very civil very composed but it just got progressively more intense and then everything exploded right at the very end i, I think people who have only seen the clip of that very end i guess just assume the whole thing was like that but i yeah i, I really only regret I, I really only regret the extent to which i got frustrated right at the end the rest of the conversation up until that point was mostly fine it's just when i said it's like i'm talking to a fourth grader that i i from that point on i, I just flew off the rails and i don't like how i spoke for the rest of that conversation and it's it's fine. Honestly. Like, dude, I've I've had again people be more mad at me for stupid shit before. Towards the end, it was a little bit, but like, I also hope people don't think I left because you were yelling at me. That wasn't really it. It was just because I was simply tired and wanted to go to bed. And it's like when you're when you're having like a debate like that, like it it gets, it gets your energy you know, down a little bit, you know what I mean? When I mean, both of us were at a point where we're just saying the same thing over again, and we're not really we're not making any registering progress. anything past what we know, you know what I mean? My, like, my, yeah. My, my... We heard each other's points, we just don't agree, but we still want the other person to do the opposite, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and agree with us after repeating our point, it, it just gets tiring. The so, like, I just left after that because I wanted to go to bed. The other thing is that... hours of not sleeping... You know, after uh, I don't know if you heard what I said after I left, but I was also pretty pretty inflammatory once you left the call. I was basically I just I think I was more annoyed that you left than I was at. Oh uh, no, it's again because it's fine. I, like, I mean, people get mad. It's that's cool. I, I'm I the, mean, I'm the type of person who doesn't like when things are left unfinished. I don't. It's just I I, I don't like it when people when I can't reach a resolution with someone in a conversation. So I think it was just. Pent up frustration from dealing with dealing with the whole com uh, debate as a whole pile on to I couldn't reach a resolution just led me to fly off the rails and like like I said from that point on when in the video I just I don't I, yeah but it's it's fine I mean have you ever like gotten in an argument with your parents or something and then you go to your room and you start punching your pillow the only kind of it's kind of how it felt I mean it's 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 not in really insulting or anything like I mean I just know you're not in a state of mind where you're like. Oh, he's, like, actually, like, so serious about, like, my character, how he feels about who I am, you know what I mean? It's just, like, oh, he's just, he's mad. It's whatever, it happens. It happens with every single person, I think. I've gotten mad like that before at people, after arguing with them. I would, straight up, if there was someone else there, I'd say, like, this person is a, it's a fucking idiot, I hate them, you know what I mean? But I don't mean it. But obviously, they heard it. It's insulting, I guess. But, like, you don't really have to worry about that for me. Because, like, I don't really take it to full heart, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, I mean, I guess he's just saying that for now. But, I mean, if he continues, then I'll know. Uh, it's whatever. But. The other thing that kind of riled people up was the April Fool's video that I made last year. Where I basically just took all your arguments that you made that day and loosely linked them together into a single script. You see, it would be offensive maybe i'm saying maybe if i even knew you were doing an impression of me <laughs> you see i was watching the video and I, I didn't know he was doing an impression of me because i thought i thought he was he sounded like rump almost and i was like oh that's, that's a really interesting uh voice you're making there kind of i'm like oh i don't dude. think I, <laughs> I i don't think i sounded like trump i i, I was basically just trying to emulate like a like a well, maybe or... not but it's like it's that's what it, that's what it sounded exactly like me. the the intent of that was was, was to try funny. to i mean the, the rest of the world thought you sounded high so i was trying to emulate like a surfer dude voice who just didn't it was totally laid back and chill about everything uh, no shot. But so I've said it in comments before, and I'll say it again here. That video was not made out of spite at all. It, 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 no, it, I mean, it, dude, I couldn't care less. It, to be it, honest, it, it, it's like you can you can do a lot and get away with it with me. Like I'm not very spiteful. I can be the butt of a joke, and I don't care. I feel like a lot of people just take too much offense at things that, like, you know, you should just be able to laugh it off. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that, like, I, the reason why I made it is just because some of the things you said in that stream had become a meme amongst, amongst the community. One of the prevailing ones that I'm sure you know of is when you said, what else would you be thinking about? Jacking off? That was, we Wait, all- Wait, really? I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> we, we all found that very that's funny. A, that's like a meme in your thing now? I mean, well, it's just, because it, it's just such an outrageous statement, because we were talking about what, what was motivating Woody to leave at the end. Oh, wait, yo, that- and basically, oh, God. you you were arguing that he must have been thinking this, and I said he isn't thinking this. And then you're like, well, what else would he be thinking about? Jacking off? 
So I didn't find it funny that in the is... moment, but in retrospect, it's hysterical. It so is even even the voice you're making right now. It makes it ten times better. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Like mo- most people, <laughs> like, dude, it's like it's not that. I don't know why people think it's that deep, but it's not that deep, man. It's it's just like people having fun at the end yeah i mean like i feel like most people who watched that saw it as the the funny bit of satire that it was for april fools and i i don't think people know that you actually i don't know if you remember this you picked out the thumbnail for that video i sent you two thumbnail choices and like which one do you want which one do you think looks better for the video you made you i have, don't even i don't even remember that you see I, I have really not good memory and i guess i'll ask just to, to make it sure it's on the record do you want me to take that down or are you fine with it remaining public the april fools video uh i mean you can keep it? Why would you take it down? Well, I mean, just in case I don't have any reason to want to, unlo- Bro, unless, unless you are okay. uncomfortable with Wait, it. Like, I- again, dude, it's not that deep. Keep it up. It's fine. Yeah, like, it's, I don't I don't see why people think that. Real, I mean, really, just the whole situation has just been kind of annoying to see everyone immediately assume they have a complete understanding of me as a person saying I need anger management and therapy or whatever. And just also people thinking they understand our friendship and, like, everything we've been through and that this is the be-all and all of everything. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, like, if people think I'm gonna leave a uh, person that I've been friends with all of high school over a argument, like, as my friend, like, nah. That's, that's stupid. I mean, if, if you would leave your friend over that, you need better friends, because it's obvious that they're not good at doing anything besides fighting you. The other thing is, I guess that's just a part of being a public figure on the internet. People will will think they know who you are, but pretend that they're an expert on your psyche based on the fragmented chunks that they see from my videos, when in reality... In reality, oh, the, you see that with a lot of people too. Yeah, and it's like uh, the video. In reality, the videos I make are nowhere close to a representation of who I am. And, and in fairness, all, the only thing people have to judge me on is the videos that I make. But it, it's still frustrating to see your character get torn to shreds when people see like one percent of who you are and then call you a massive piece of shit over it. No, oh, yeah. I guess it just kind of ties into a larger topic in regards to how I present myself in videos. I, I kind of went over this a bit in my discussion with Patricia Taxon last year, but not a lot of people watched that video, so I figure it's worth bringing up again here. I don't feel active vitriol towards every single thing in Toy Story 4. Like, I hate that movie. It, that's that's no secret, and a significant portion of it frustrates me a lot. But just as a for instance, the existence of the driveway doesn't make me want to scream my head off. Like, my, my honest, unfiltered reaction when I saw that for the first time was more along the lines of wait is that why is did they just invent a driveway out of thin air for this movie because that was not there before versus how well, i thought you were talking about the key thing oh well huh. so you've seen that <laughs> clip as well yeah that was yeah. yeah that was one of the other ones that circulated around twitter uh, dude, i'm sorry that one was kind of funny it's well, fine I mean, well i mean I, I i can use that one as an example of, as well which is just my my honest my reaction to that was just but he really have lost his keys after being in the house for that short amount of time. But... Yeah, that's fine, honestly. Like, I, I don't even... I just think it was it was funny that you made that. Like, and it's, it's slightly valid. Well, it's just the... The point I want to draw attention to there is that, that that versus how I presented in my series, which is um, for the driveway one, because I actually have this one committed to memory, which is, there's a driveway on the left side of the house? Why is there a driveway on the left side of the house? This did not exist in the original movies. This could not be more blatantly obvious. And my, my throat already hurts from... Your, your Trevor impression, you being Trevor, is hilarious. I, I need to stop... <laughs> I don't. I don't think you know how physically painful it is for me to maintain that dude, level. That, of... that I could hear the crack right there, and that sounds. Oh, dude, that hurt me. That hurt my throat. The point I'm making is that obviously that is played up for the sake of entertainment, and I, yeah. I I always hesitate to say that because when you say that you're playing something up for a video, it makes it sound like you don't actually believe what you're saying. But I believe the words that I say in my videos. Everything I've said is something I genuinely believe. It's just the manner in which I present that information that might be dramatically enhanced. Like, it, you heard, it takes effort to make myself sound that angry for that long, and my throat is just completely dead after I'm doing re- done recording commentary for one of those videos. Um, and the reason why I hand that up so much is because the first, the first major series on my channel that gave me some level of notoriety was my Apollo Justice Let's Play from about three years ago. People, prior to that point, I was very laid back with my game playthroughs, but for that one specifically, people just found it, people really found it funny how angry I was getting at the game, so I figured 
Well, if people like seeing it here, then I guess that's an attitude I can try to summon for future LPs if it's appropriate. And I didn't do it if I was actually enjoying the game, obviously, but if I encountered something stupid and poorly written, then I, I, I hearkened back to that inner Apollo Justice attitude, and that's that's why both my Danganronpa 3 and Toy Story 4 series were as angrily presented as they were. And also Sonic Adventure 2, I legitimately hated playing through that game. It was a genuine, like, genuinely a miserable experience. I don't ever want to touch Adventure 2 again, but I can almost guarantee to you, I would not have hated it, or Sonic Heroes for that matter, as much as I did if I played them in my spare time. Because when, when there's a microphone in front of me, it kind of encourages me to keep playing up that angry attitude that people seem to come to expect and enjoy from my videos. Because that angry attitude I have is done for the sake of entertainment. It's something that I want to keep, I'm going to keep doing for future series. It's just going to be much more calculated. For instance, did you, how much have you seen of my Incredibles 2 and Toy Story 4 stuff? Out of curiosity, I don't actually know. Not too much. It's like, I mean, obviously I'll support the homies, but, uh... They're a little long. Yeah, no, I don't blame you so for not. not. Not, like, all of it. I mean... But, like, I, I'll sit down every once in a while, and it, like, saves where I was at sometimes on YouTube, so... I'll just be like, oh, okay. You mean to tell me you don't have 12 hours in a day to watch all my videos? Lame. Lame. Ooh. Yeah, you're right, man. Ooh. I'm so, I'll just make more time, okay? I'll stop doing homework. Yeah, I'll yeah. stop going to school. But yeah, I'm, so... just, I, I'm not typically one for very, very long videos, unless it is something I am super, super into. I, that... I like I like films and stuff, but it's like I can't watch people talk about movies for that long. Which I get, this totally, I mean, the long-form content isn't for everyone. The reason I ask is because my Incredibles 2 series is far more level-headed than Toy Story 4, and I, I, I save the intense, in Incredibles 2, I, I save the intense rage for the big moments, such as the climax, which is just abject nonsense from start to finish. But in Toy Story 4, I'm just, I'm 100% the whole time. And it's exhausting because there there is entertainment to be found in someone losing their mind, like watching someone lose their mind over a bad movie, judging by the reception to my other videos. But when you do it too much, well, that's the only emotion you can hit for almost the whole thing. It just kind of loses its impact. It's the whole, if everything's rage inducing, then nothing is rage inducing kind of thing. But where I go too far with it is that I tended to carry over that raging personality into my live streams when interacting with real people, with you being the primary example during that Halo infinite stream but also during things like my sonic hero stream when i was i was starting to lash out at some people from chat who in retrospect were clearly just trolls trying to fuck with me and push my buttons so i shouldn't have really even given them the time of day but at the time i didn't care i just kind of kept up this wildly over the top angry personality which is easy to do when you're playing a really shitty game so because you're already feeling annoyed at what you're playing so it's easy to tap into that that rage and that that's that's true. that stream is another thing i look back on and just cringe at because that wasn't okay to do to anyone for any reason reason like trolls or not whether they were there to specifically to piss me off or not it, it didn't warrant me getting as heated as i did either in that stream or in the halo infinite one and th there's a lot of reasons why i'm not happy about the way that the infinite stream ended one of them i don't know if you've seen this but some people on my discord server had come to know you exclusively as the idiot from the toy story 4 debate <laughs> I did not know that. Because I, I saw a couple of people, I don't remember who it was, but I remember seeing something that really annoyed me when someone's like, that, it, oh, Brooks is the idiot from the Toy Story 4 thing, and I, I just, that's not how I want my audience to know you. It's one of the main reasons why I've asked you to be in things like the Aladdin commentary and the Re Wreck-It Ralph commentary, and more. I mean, even if that is, like, A, I wouldn't really blame you for it. It's not your fault, it's their own fault. And B, I want to be honest, I, I just really don't care. Like, it's some random dude on the internet. Oh, well. Like, they can think whatever they want. And the other reason why I'm not happy about the way it ended is that, obviously, now some people, including other content creators with way more subscribers than me, like hundreds of thousands of more subscribers, they think I'm just a massive piece of shit because of the things I said at the end of that stream. So that's not fun. I to mean, it's, again, no problem. I don't care. Like, people can think it's a big deal if they want. It is, it is not. Like, it is just... Two friends being frustrated after an argument. Whatever. People just take things out of proportion when they can. It's really, it's not a big deal. I, I just, it's just not fun to see that level of discourse about me from people who literally have never even spoken to me and have no idea who I am on a personal level. Or me, even. Or, <laughs> yeah, that too. Dude, apparently people think I'm that idiot. I mean, again, don't really care. But I, it does suck a little bit, obviously, but... 
I, I guess, long story short, the the angry, raging personality is something that I've been wanting to move away from, really, ever since I started making my Incredibles 2 series. I, I, I really wanted that to be far less exaggerated, less over the top, and much more approachable and agreeable for someone coming in loving Incredibles 2. And just, I'm much more excited to work on videos like my Toy Story 3 praise, my Owl House praise, assuming that show doesn't crash and burn in the finale. Please don't let that happen. And my critique of Halo Infinite. I'm more excited to work on those things than I am to work on my Lightyear video. I'd honestly rather spend my time talking about stuff I love than I would about stuff I don't love. Just particularly because I have much stronger emotional reactions to things that I love than things that I hate, for as crazy People as that might sound. People love hate videos, though. It's... I, I'll tell you that I love my dude hate video everyone. Like, why are just, like, watching someone get mad at absolutely stupid shit, to be honest? Like, th those are funny to me sometimes. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure anyone else can understand that, too. Like, at one point in your life, you watch, like, a video of someone being mad at something, and you thought, oh, this is entertaining, you know? Yeah, so I, I obviously do still plan on covering things that I that I don't like, but when I do talk about the bad stuff, I don't want it to be with the same attitude that I've had previously, which, again, is not to say that you're never going to hear me yell at a movie. You're definitely going to hear me yell at movies, because that's just, it, that's part of the entertainment of my, of my main videos. It's just going to be more restrained and selective with when I unleash those intense emotions, and you can already see that in the Incredibles 2 stuff. Anyway, to, to kind of cap this off, I don't want to keep you for too long. You and I have already sorted this out privately like a year ago, but just so, it's, just so it's said on the record publicly, I am sorry for losing my cool at the end of the Infinite stream. I would have much rather just been able to enjoy a new Halo game than I would talk about how crap Toy Story 4 is, especially to the extent that we did. I, I, like I said, looking back on that, I actually listening to it again is painful to see how, how that conversation devolved as, as rapidly as it did at the very end. That's, that's fine, man. <laughs> like Ken, I I'm gonna be honest. It really wasn't deep at all. Like it was, it's fine. Uh, very forgiven. Actually, you know what? Only forgiven on one condition. I get to upload one video to your YouTube. Yep, <laughs> that's fine with me. That is fine. Yeah, let's with me. go, baby. <laughs> uh, Just... And they they won't know. They won't know it's me until they click the video. Uh huh. Based on what you've already told me, you plan on making. I'm sure they will, won't have the slightest idea. It'll be completely inconspicuous. Just make sure you have that video ready on time. I don't want to be late for it. I, I mean, you have like two months, but still. I mean. I've I've had things I had to do for two months and then didn't do them, so <laughs> I'll, I'll keep. Uh, I will be very careful this time. I'll, I'll I was actually planning to make a response video to your uh, critique of Overwatch. Oh right. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, I was gonna do that. You actually offered to record Overwatch footage for me, even when I told you I was gonna rip the game to shreds. Yeah, I mean, it's it's still. I mean, if you really don't like the game so much, like I'll just do it for you. I enjoy. The you see, I'm more I'm more offended actually at the Overwatch video than I am at the Toy Story stream. Like, it, <laughs> and, and then the And then the, the worst games video, I didn't even mention you at all. I was just talking about the game. Yeah, I know, exactly. It's just like, it, it made me more mad than it, the Toy Story stream ever could. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, I didn't, like, fucking hate you or anything. It's like, oh, okay. I mean, everyone thought that. Like, my own girlfriend thought that. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I, I know Overwatch 2 is a game you play. I mean, you had an entire esports dedicated to it's overwatch in oh, high school yeah, baby. high school dude that was that was so thinking of all the games you didn't win oh god i mean <laughs> think of all the games you did win though okay mm, listen all i'm struggling. saying if we kept that grandmaster dps hit scan player and then whoever went wherever we would have we would have absolutely crushed it it would have been over uh-huh, I'm sure of it. Yeah, so we just wanted to take the opportunity to lay everything out on the table surrounding that stream and how that relates to my channel as a whole. It's going to be up to everyone individually, whether they think I'm being genuine when I say that I want to move away from that type of persona that I used to have. And when I say that while it wasn't a justification for the way I conducted myself, it all really was just born out of trying to play up a, a personality that I thought people wanted to see out of me. Uh, I'm guessing people who've already made up their minds that I'm the absolute scum of the earth aren't really going to be swayed by what I've said today, which again, is why I wasn't originally going to actually make something like this, but that's the internet for you. If I still, if after this I still see the same type of please delete your channel and seek mental health comments, there's actually just nothing else I can do at that point. I know the kind of person I am. I know the kind of person I've consciously chosen to present myself as over the last year or so, and I know how I want the tone and attitude of my videos to be for the foreseeable future. I keep bumping my microphone, sorry. People can either take my word for it or not. That's up to them. Beyond that, that's pretty much all I can say on the whole situation. Any closing thoughts you have that I haven't gone over yet? Honestly, I just want to kind of touch on what you just said. Like, 
A lot of those people will not really care if you made this video or not. Are also the kind of people that like don't ever want to see that person change for the better. You know what I mean? So even if, let's say that was the most offensive thing you've ever done, right? And it was absolutely disgusting. Even then, like you could still change as a person. And I still feel like those people wouldn't really care. Like you could change and be a better guy. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. It does blow a little bit. Yeah, thanks for jumping on <laughs> to chat with me about all this. Yeah, no problem, man. And next thing you'll see from me is a surprise audio commentary on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday evening. There'll be a Valentine's Day special. And it's honestly probably my fa one, one of, if not my favorite commentaries we've ever recorded. Brooks will not be there, unfortunately. Dad. If, if you had watched that thing I, to I told you you should watch, could have been there to join us for it. But alas, you weren't. It's a shame. Which thing again? I always, uh, for some reason. I'm going to mute my mic for spoilers, but. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. It's great. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'll either check. I'm watching The Last of Us right now. If, though, you, if so... you don't, I'll send the penguin to your house. Don't talk about penguins. <laughs> we don't talk about no. penguins. Just don't, don't look up penguins and their behavioral things, and then definitely don't petition to kill them all, because I'd be bet please do it, actually. Brooks has some deep-seated I... hatred against penguins for reasons I've never yeah. quite understood. Like, it's, it's not even, like, anything personal. It's just disgusting. Like, just how they live. Awful. Horrible. Don't look it up, though, unless you want to vomit. All right. Um, Thanks for jumping on. Right. Thanks all for tuning in and watching this video, and I hope to see you all soon for whatever it is you decide to watch next. Hopefully it'll be the commentary on Tuesday, because it's a great one. Have a good day, everybody. You better you better clean up the way I'm talking. Oh, definitely, yeah. I, uh... <laughs> if there was a blooper reel, it would be the whole thing lost. <laughs> uh... Alright, I'll see you, man. See ya.